Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Imogen Thomas has revealed that she cries herself to sleep worrying about her mother Janet, 64, more than a year after her motor neurone disease diagnosis. The Big Brother star, 41, said that the diagnosis had been a huge game changer and explained she is now focusing on caring for her. The model revealed the diagnosis six months ago via a heartbreaking Instagram post and has been updating her followers on the reality of caring for someone with MND ever since. But, while she's tried to remain positive, the Welsh beauty admitted that it has taken a toll on her and her family eight years after the death of her father. But she added that her focus right now is on making memories as a family. Imogen and her sister have been caring for her mother for more than a year following her MND diagnosis but revealed that it has been difficult for her. She said, when you have someone so close to you diagnosed with MND it's a massive game changer. It's a really awful inhumane disease and we know what's to come which is painful every day. It's heartbreaking and I feel robbed. I've already lost my dad but then for her to be diagnosed with a terminal illness, that's just it. It's a big life change. I don't want to sit here and moan about it. They're your parents and you love them so you just get on with it but it has been a challenge, she said. The model also admitted that she feels jealous sometimes watching able-bodied families but then immediately feels guilty. She said, there are days where I cry myself to sleep because I fell robbed. I see mothers and daughters going shopping and feel jealous but should I? I always feel so guilty for saying that. We do still go shopping. My mum comes in her chair but it's not quite the same. The brunette beauty is now focusing on making her mother comfortable and is trying to travel as much as possible. Imogen said, we don't want to stop making memories and as time goes on you don't know when it'll stop and you won't be able to make any more. But the mother of two explained that traveling with a disability is extremely difficult. She said that the family always dread the plane and described one instance where staff left her and her mother Janet sat in the cabin for 45 minutes after all the other passengers had disembarked. She said, they just forgot about us. And it was difficult keeping her spirits high. Getting onto the plane is hard as well. Because my mom has lost feeling and control in her left side she needs a lot of help and if we're last on then people are just staring, watching us sit down and my mom hates it, she's in tears. And it doesn't matter how hard I try and I call the airlines, it doesn't make a difference. You don't get treated like a person, you're treated like a piece of cargo. The model also described hotels that advertise themselves as disabled friendly but when she arrived, she found the specialist equipment damaged or not even there. The reality star said this added anxiety and worry to what was supposed to be a relaxing experience. She described how on a recent holiday to Spain, her mother was unable to get into the pool because of a rusty seat and the pair weren't given disabled friendly sun loungers and the star was forced to pay extra so her mum could enjoy herself. It's just awful. My mother burst into tears and was having panic attacks. She added, don't advertise yourself as disabled friendly if you're not. It kept me up at night worrying about her. Imogen also admitted that another worry is the cost of caring for his disabled mother. The star revealed that she has already had to use her savings and raise funds through GoFundMe to pay for specialist equipment and treatment but conceded that she was lucky to have been able to access private healthcare. The thing is, it costs thousands. It's not a little thing. I never thought I'd be in a position where I'd have to think about these things. I'm very lucky but I partnered with Changing MND so I did find out about these grants which have been so helpful because the equipment costs a fortune. My mother's chair alone cost £2,500, but we're giving her the best we can give for her now. We're making sure she's comfortable and we're there for her. If she wants to go out for a meal then we do because it brings her happiness. But she explained that people's treatment of her moth.